How are you? I'm really Hi. good. How's it going? Doing well. Now that you are here. Now that you're here. <laughs> <laughs> but it may not be going wonderfully for Octavia, who has many amends to make. Oh, I know. It always sucks trying to uh, pick up the pieces, doesn't it? Yes. Is, is her relationship with Bellamy at the moment salvageable? Well, Octavia put Bellamy in the fighting pits when she was Blood Reina. And Bellamy poisoned Blood Reina. So it's like the ultimate sensation of brother sister brother sister rivalry. So how do you how do you come back from that? We'll find out next season. <laughs> um so will Octavia make any new friends in this new planet, Mm-hmm. Any she does make some new friends. Um, I'm not gonna say if they're romantic friends. You might see some characters you're familiar with or not. But she has some new alliances that will shock everyone. They're unexpected. Yes. What can you tease about her evolution this season? And what are you most excited for fans to see in her journey? There's one episode in particular that's my absolute favorite, and I'll tease this. Um, if you've ever had one of those days or nights where you've battled your own self in your mind, where you've been very conflicted with yourself. Um, there's an episode where it really focuses on that. And Octavia goes to war with her own worst enemy. Facing her demons. <laughs> <laughs> will she tell uh, Bellamy about the dark year? Will they, will they have that conversation another in the new season? I don't think I could directly answer that because my boss is like five feet away. <laughs> um, they do have a discussion because they have to come back at some point to one another because ultimately they're family and family is the most important thing after all. Um, but they do have a long way to go and Octavia has a lot of things to talk about. You know, the hardest things you talk about when you don't trust anyone is your family ultimately because you know it's lock and key and it's it's a safe place to chat. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned. I think Monty's death hit everyone hard. I care more about Chris. I'm like, oh, I can cry right now. I just love him. He's, he's such a kind guy, like the guy he played on, on the show. I'll miss Chris Larkin big time. Same here. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.